Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Seven Days to Die. And guys, I have been spending a lot of grinding time trying to work on this base. And other than just collecting resources and trying to, well, chop down a lot of trees and replanting, I have done a lot of work with this place. I have managed to clean up everything off this structure and put up new wood. And believe me, it took it took a while, and I put a little place to shoot the zombies through if they come up. And I just broke this open because apparently there is a ladder in here. I don't know if I could do something with it, but it might make a might make a nice platform to do some sniping from eventually. But yeah, we're not going to be spending the horde night here. You'd never, never spend board night in your main base because you'll be spending all your time repairing it afterwards now I like I said I have been spending a lot of time in here and one of the things I did do is when I just did my setup I made my days longer I think I set them for 120 minutes I believe so that I have a lot more time to build and put things together and find resources does make for a very long night, but usually during the nighttime, that's when I'm doing most of my building, so it works. And I did put a lot of these crates in. The crates are pretty cheap, so it doesn't take a lot to make them. And I love the fact that you have the ability to put all these labels on everything now. But I've been doing, well, I keep doing that too. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of sorting. I still haven't put anything in these yet. Miscellaneous, just things that really don't fit any particular category. This is for stuff to take to the trader and to get uh, dukes. I think I'm going to use this to put uh, prepared food. And then food ingredients in here. But we've got medical supplies, gardening seeds. Ammunition and ammunition materials. Don't have a lot yet, but working on it, getting there. Some of these mods, these are just individual mods and stuff that I had found. Uh, if I got duplicates, I sold them to the trader. But basically, I made this as, basically took the wall down and all the things inside of it and replaced it with new wood. I haven't upgraded it more than wood though. I'm pretty much stuck there. Now this is always a must. You gotta put a building block here. That way you can jump up here and pick it up. That way the zombies can't jump up the ladder. I did kill just pretty much everything close by so that I don't get surprised. The only bad thing I had was that there were a couple of times when... Oh yeah, I still haven't finished those corners. I don't know really how to do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I reach it? Yeah, I can reach that part of it. Yeah, I wish I had something a little faster than this, but I can at least continually repair it. Oh, I never checked the garbage in here. I thought it was empty. <laughs> That's interesting. 
Some things like this can lead to secret passages, but I haven't seen anything like that here. Uh, actually, I'm kind of glad because I want to keep it as simple as possible. I don't know, maybe over time I will clear some of this stuff out. Or I might just let the zombies over time tear it down for the most part. One thing I did find out is that you can keep chickens in places. And there's a chicken that's been in here. <laughs> He's just been running around. If I could figure out a way to fix this door, I might. Well, I don't have the equipment I need. Apparently, forged iron to do that. But yeah, we... I've, we, well, I was going to say we, I have been working on this quite a bit. I mean, it's not nothing fancy. I mean, it's, again, a square box shape. And I have, like I said, run into some zombie hordes. Looks like I've got a... Is that a cop or is that a... Oh, no, it's not a cop. Anytime you have activity like this, one of the things you end up attracting are those screamers. And I have dealt with them a couple of times, but luckily it's only been during the daytime. And I've been able to, to get out and kind of run off in another direction. And that they take me Okay, is he down? Yeah, they lose interest after a while and move on, so... I didn't actually even have to really deal with them directly. I just kind of avoided them. Honestly, I got lucky. <laughs> but, yeah, we need to find a spot to build our first horde base, and I think I have found it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. Let's see how much stuff I might carry in here. Yeah, I did manage to build a few things. I built a pipe rifle. And I upgraded my pipe shotgun to a 2, level 2. And I found a level 1 pistol in a toilet. And it's actually a little more powerful than I... Than I get... I, it's actually... It's actually a little more powerful than I would have thought. What is that? Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. That I could use if I can hit him. I need some meat. Well, I lost him. That got it. Yeah, they're so small. I have not seen a deer yet. I mean, I'm right next to a Dagon Forest and I have not seen a deer. It's really strange. I may have to go on a hunt. But we're a little bit too close to Horde Night for that. Now, what I'm looking for, you can see that there's a tower over here. And there are no churches or mausoleums, so we don't have that as an option. So this tower is going to have to do... Eventually, we're going to have to build some kind of an actual Horde base. And I am going to check online to see if there's some designs that I can work with. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to build a port tower design or something like that. But this is where we're going to try to hold up, I think. Yeah, cell tower number two. I've already cleaned it out. All riffraff. Now... What I'm trying to decide is how much do I need to build it up? I'm contemplating putting like blocks around this and a door and then you know have something to allow me to hop up here. Or I might just put a block here. I don't know. Let's see. We'll put a building block. Craft one. I 
did go up to the top. Okay, that's the problem. I need to come from this side. But up here, I went ahead and put some rails, because some of the rails here were missing. I made some out of wood. Did not see any buzzards, which is a good thing. But we should be relatively safe up here. We just need to make it so they can't climb up this ladder. And that is going to be the trick. How do we do that? Well, I think I'm going to see if about... I can't place a block there. Actually, I might have a better idea, guys. <laughs> Instead of going up that way, it might be better to go up on top of this roof. Let's see, is there a ladder here? No. Just equipment. Forgot to check desk. Yeah, I was kind of surprised there was nothing in that that little structure there. Yeah, I think what I might do is build a ladder here in the back. Yeah, let's do that. Shouldn't need too many of them. Just enough to get up there. That's not exactly the way I wanted to do that. <laughs> it's floating! Hmm, interesting. Well, that ain't gonna work. Okay, let's try something else here. Maybe we should come from a different angle. Structures are not square, which is starting to become very apparent now. Let me get a building block here. We're going to experiment a little bit. I think that's the problem. So, yep, that was it. I just need to get that little piece out. <laughs> All right. 
right, let me see if we can place something else here. Yep, there we go. That's how we're going to do it. Oh wow, there's some solar powder panels up here. Some of these actually you can open. Doesn't look like these, this one you can, but... If I had a wrench, if I only had a wrench. Um, oh, that didn't work. That's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is not ideal, but we're going to have to come up with something, because this ladder is going to just make it a little bit too easy for them to get up. Shouldn't be able to get up there that at least that way anymore. Yeah, it kind of kills me that it's floating like that. <coughs> but it works. Go from this side. There we go. Well, that's a little scary. We've got to jump and hope for the best. But I think that's going to work. There we go. All right. I think we have found ourselves a way in. I mean, it's not perfect. But I think it'll get us through, and we can use the fence to hold them off. Hold them on. We'll just leave that open. We are definitely going to need more ammo. Need to find some more weapons of some kind. And food is still a problem. I have a little bit of food, but I just not been able to do much with it because I don't have a lot of recipes that I can only use at this point. I need to find a grill and I need to find a beaker. Let's see, Grumpy's Pub. A forever video is not going to do me much good. Could be food in here. But I'm betting there's gonna be zombies in here. So let's see what the heck we got going on. And here we go. Like I said, one shot. She's down. I was very surprised by that pistol being that powerful. Whoa, a bit of lag there. Yeah, I've been in some other pubs that were a lot 
a lot worse than this. There's not too many zombies here, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Like I said, it doesn't take much to take them out. Definitely check the bullets because, like I said, I found a pistol in one of them. Just paper. There. Yeah, I miss the days when you used to be able to check all the mirrors and they had the stuff in them. Okay, here's another book. Ranger's Grad to Art. That's good. coffee grounds. Might be able to make coffee now. I haven't tried. Got plenty of water. Yeah, water's not been an issue. Right now, food is still my issue. Having enough. It's just not getting there. Really making it tough to find food. I mean, this is the kind of food we're getting. Food that can give us bad juju, you know. Steak and potato meal. That could smoothie and beer. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. Is that all that's in here? It's really not much. It's kind of a... I see, is there a way to get to the roof? There's not from in here, that's for sure. That's locked. Yeah, that's it. Definitely a small little pub. There's corn seed. It's all the stuff in the back. It's kind of weird. And yeah, see this. This could be another possibility. The only thing I have a problem with it is that it only has really four points of contact to keep it standing. I don't know. Let me take a look at this, too. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. What's with the water? There must be a zombie in that daggone tank. Has to be. Well, let's try something here, guys. Let's break it open. can't come up the ladder. But yeah, I think we have us a dog horde. Oh, goodness. I'm glad I wasn't down there.
Yeah, the water still is kind of weird. Okay, one of the dogs is dead. that right now. Let's see, we've got pipe rifle. Wish they'd stand still. Dogs climb a ladder. Holy crap, I cannot believe I'm dying because these dogs climbed a ladder. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I killed him, but I ended up dying. That is bullcrap. Dogs cannot climb ladders. <laughs> That's a bunch of hooey. Well, we'll spawn near the backpack because... That is a bunch of hooey. Yeah, I gotta get back to my base. I cannot believe that. That is... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now I'm dealing with pigs? Let me guess, they climb too, right? Jeez, what is the deal? Let me guess, they... I cannot believe this. This is ridiculous. It's like everything is got special abilities or something. Oh crap. Well, I'm not dead. They're gone for pigs now. And I'm infected. I am just being... <sighs> How is it all this happening? Holy crap. 
crap, this is so ridiculous. And I keep getting stuck behind fences. I'm gonna bleed out. Yeah. This is crazy. This is don't go crazy. Jesus. That was nuts. I've never in my entire life in this game been attacked by an entire horde of dogs, then an entire horde of pigs, then an entire horde! <laughs> oh my god, that was like crazy! I don't lose my stuff. I really, really needed that stuff. Good gosh. Yeah, that sucks. Well, the only thing is, maybe being over here, I'll be able to. Maybe I could sneak back and get the stuff. If I use stealth. I don't know. Well guys, it's night time. There's not a lot that can go on at this point. Tomorrow is the horde. We are going to have to deal with that. Need to pick that up. Don't need to make it too easy for him. Wow, that is crazy. Is it? If anybody is that plays this game, could you put in the comments below? Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Honestly, I've never been ganged up on like that by a bunch of animals. N not in this game. Not once. Not to that degree. Holy crap. Well, guys, I'm going to try to make it through the night. Hopefully, all hell doesn't break loose. But if it does, I'll bring you back. For now, we're just going to try to survive the night. Don't let the sun Set down on me Don't let the sun sit down on me No food or water, maybe seven days until I die The bombs are falling, there was fire burning in the sky The dead have risen